Hi, I'm Ron Kawa. And I'm Rhonda Kawa. And this is our testimony. At about uh, age 35 is when I finally came to the Lord. Uh, Ron and I were dating and got to this point really early on where I came to realize that if I truly believed that there was a God so big that he created the universe and that all the living creatures and all the stories of the Bible were true and he is that powerful, then why, why wasn't I trusting him with my finances? Why was that the one thing? Why is eternity such an easy thing to do and my finances so difficult? So got to the point that I said, okay, I'm gonna do this tithe and we're gonna step out in faith and looked at the finances and looked at everything that I'd already committed to prior to being saved and realized that there was with some pulling and pushing and excluding some things out of the budget that we weren't going to spend anymore and came to the point where I realized I had four percent. Four percent of my gross income could go to this tie. And I said, Lord, I, I've got 4%. I know you want me to fulfill my commitments that I've already made, so you got to help me with the rest. So it was uh, about the beginning of December, and the first 4% went in on a Sunday, and it was probably about a week later. I get called into my boss's office, and he just starts to explain how that at this time of year, things had to be made, and think changes had to be made, and something had to happen. And he went on to proceed that, that if he didn't take care of it right away, that he wouldn't be able to do things that he needed to do later. And finally he says, so I have to give you a 6% pay raise right now in order to six months from now to give you more of a pay raise. And it was just an amazing thing that God had not only given the 6%, but then was also increasing it from beyond that months later. And Ron and I, a, a year later, got married and everything and the finances have just been a blessing ever since and he's never stopped. Um, and from the day we married, it was Ron and I's thing. We knew that we were, no matter what, going to tithe, going to give our 10% to the storehouse. And we've done that. And we've lived that out loud in our home in front of our children. We had four children in the home, two in grade school, two just starting high school. And they knew that the first thing that we would do was tithe. And because we were faithful to the Lord in our tithes the way we were, He has been so faithful to us back. He has blessed our marriage. He has blessed our relationship. He has blessed our relationship with our children. They've grown up to be tithers and givers to excess almost. All of our children have. Um, yeah, the, the, the tithe really has never been a question even from the offering to, to get to that point, but it was really a matter of stepping over that line of trust, yes. saying if eternity is, is, is far more difficult to trust God in than it is just what is in my wallet. So I can tr tell you from years and years and years, we are now debt free except yes. for our home. We give and it's not out of compulsion, it's just out of the generosity and the overflow of God's uh, heart into us. Um, we were helping in the food pantry um, years ago at our other place, uh, another thing that was going on. And I was concerned about giving out too much of the food because we had the, the following weekend was another weekend that we were giving out food. And uh, God was, was very clear about the fact that he couldn't fill that pantry if we didn't empty it. And sure enough, the faster we gave it away, the faster he filled it and he would fill it even more and we were helping more people. So over and over and over again, God just has blessed us and has just shown us that we truly cannot outgive God. And uh, it's just, I can't uh, express enough how this step of faith has just opened up our relationship, not only with each other, but with all the people that, that uh, we interact with. And so that's our testimony.